Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus, Spirit of a living God, our teacher. We ask, Lord, that you will give us understanding of the word of God today. Let the word gain entrance into our lives and give us illumination in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Uh, I welcome you to this, our eighth edition on God Knows Me. And we have been considering Psalm 139, where David affirms in several ways in which God, you know, knows him. Amen. Today, our focus is going to be on verse 3 of the Psalm 139. And it says, Thou compassed my path and my lying down, and art acquainted, you know, with all my ways. Another translation, to be very specific, basic Bible in English says, You keep watch over my steps and my sleep. Of course, both translations are basically saying the same thing. And the conclusion from these two translations is that God is interested or God knows two important areas of our lives. And these areas are our lying down, that is when we are asleep, and also when we are awake. Every human, it is either you are asleep at a point in time or you are awake. And David is affirming here that God knows you in these two areas of your life. He knows when you are asleep and he knows when you are awake. He knows everything that goes on in your life when you are asleep and when you are awake. Amen. Praise God. Now, if you examine some Bible, some Bible commentaries, you know, they throw further light, you know, into trying to explain what David implies here. In specific, John Wesley's note, you know, commented on, on, on the word composite and it renders it as thou discerned every step I take. That is, God is able to discern, or rather God has designed every step that you are going to take in life. Now, it says further that it is a metaphor from soldiers besieging their enemies, you know, and setting watches, you know, round about them. Amen. Now, when you also look at the commentary of Adam Clark, he says, Thou compassed my path can be rendered as thou dost winnow or sift my path, you know, and my lying down. Amen. Now, when you put these two, two, two commentaries, two translations, you know, both commentaries and translations together, basically what they are saying is that, or the summary of what they are saying is that God is interested in your ways. He is interested in your lying down, that is when you are asleep. Is also interested in when you are awake. Praise God. God has designed every step that you are going to take in life. He has designed all of that even before, you know, before he created you. And because he has designed all your steps you're going to take in life, you know, we can say that God is acquainted, you know, with your ways. He's acquainted with your lying down. He's also acquainted, you know, with your, with your being asleep. Amen. Praise God. Now, God took a step further, you know, to winnow or to sift your path in order to remove every, un every unwarranted path. Amen. To remove every undesirable path, any undesirable thing on your pathway that will cause you, 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 know, you know, to stumble as you walk in the day and also when you asleep. So what God has done he has, is that he has sifted all of those. He has removed those things from, from your pathway. Amen. Now, removing all of these, as I said, they are based on God's foreknowledge, you know, of every path that you are going to take in life. Amen. Now, do you know one further thing, one further thing that God has done or one further step he has taken? And that is that he has set watches, you know, over you and all around you to ensure that the enemy, you know, is not able to penetrate you. In other words, he has made you invincible. He has made you impenetrable, you know, by the enemy. No matter any attempt that is made by the enemy to be able to touch you, he will not be able to touch you because God already, you know, has set a watch, has set watches, you know, around you. These watches are protecting you. They are guarding you. Then they are also overseeing you to ensure that no weapon of the enemy that is fashioned against you, you know, touches you or comes close to you. Amen. David says that God compassed, you know, his path and also the steps that he takes. God has, God has set a frame, has set watches around you to protect you when you are asleep and when you are awake. And these steps of God, they are based on the fact that he has known every step that you're going to take in life even before you were born. Amen. God bless you.